We have item numbers five and six. Uh, for help with the cuts of the board knowledge for students to be estimated property taxes. Uh, revenue for the county auditor for point two renewal and then requesting the board approve next year resolution 23133 declaring it necessary for a levy tax in excess of 10 mil for the board of county commissioners. Okay. Um, I think last week or two weeks ago we discussed um, this is a, a renewal obviously saying it's a pretty small, small uh, renewal and it's been around for a long time. Um, what uh, what do you know what it is impact per hundred thousand per household? Uh, the the auditor pulled that. I want to say it was like fifteen to thirty. It was, I want to say it was thirty dollars. Fifteen per half. I think it was thirty dollars per year for hundred thousand. So that's my one board member said when she got it mm -hmm. off the top of her head. So it says five dollars rounded to the nearest dollar for each hundred thousand dollars. Five. 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 So that must have been her total house property value, not the. Yeah. Okay, and so it's roughly about six hundred thousand dollars collected. Right? Yeah, it varies based on what it is. Yeah. We've gotten yeah. five fifty in recent years, and I think this year was six hundred and thirty, roughly. Okay. The, the certificate says six hundred fifty thousand. Okay. At the ninety, I think seven percent collection rate. Okay, and then um, just ballpark, you know, we had discussed possibly that. We're looking at roughly about a six hundred thousand annual savings in the uh, uh, changes that were made to the health district. Is that correct? Yeah, between three and six hundred thousand, based on um, all the realizations of revenue mm -hmm. uh, that the board could do. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, three to six hundred thousand. And then you would you would mention that you have about a three and a half million dollar carryover. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere. In, it, I mean, fluctuates obviously, but yeah, yeah. about that. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that. Um, so, is that um, are those the carry on dollars associated to the COVID relief fund? Some of them would be due to that. Some would be due to septic septic, mm -hmm. septic programs in the past, um, sewage programs which interlink with sept with septic uh, for the most part. Um, and obviously, that will be drawn down some by the by the nine hundred seventy nine thousand dollars or so that we're paying back to the, to the business owners. They had the semi public sewer systems, House Bill one ten reference point. Um, so that'll draw down by about a million dollars. So that'll that, come out of this. That'll carry come out of that carry that yeah that that might be carried over from the prior year. Mm -hmm. And then when, also, when will those returns start? Uh, I'm hoping in August. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, this month. But you still have to track them all down. Uh, we have not. Well, we know all the addresses that they were attributed to. Uh, yeah, the, the claims administrator company does that all. They reach out, and then that's seven, nine hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars. And I think one reach out to each person if they are not that address or it's a different name. We'd have to go and it costs additional dollars to, to track people down. We're doing our best to make sure we get the, gotcha. the amount they would be owed. So, so roughly after that, um, um, you know, that over collection, you know, reimbursing everybody. What they're owed, you're going to be roughly around, let's say, three and a half or two and a half million dollars, roughly. Yeah, we carry we out. also ended the for sale property program we talked about last time. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the main revenue drivers for the health department. Uh, oh, operation maintenance is the new program, the state required. Uh, that if we don't do, the state actually just takes all of our services from us. They mm -hmm. do it themselves. Uh, that's significant revenue loss each year. The operator, the for sale property revenue, operation maintenance will catch up with it. Mm -hmm. But you're probably talking five to seven years from now to really offset the exact same uh, mm -hmm. the equivalency of that revenue uh, mm -hmm. with the staff that are attributed to the program. So how fast do you think this two and a half million dollars is going to carry it? Or you will burn through that two and a half million dollar carryover or what's what's the intent to do with uh, that money? Now? I mean if we didn't have the levy, I, I guess we were going if we mm -hmm. didn't have the levy, I mean that would be let's say six hundred thousand a year so that only last Three or four years. Mm -hmm. I mean, assuming it's dollar for dollar, you know, eighteen hundred dollars be three years. Um, but the other reality is that, or the thought process is, you need reserves to handle if something else comes up. You sure. know, you got a bit of train to ribbon like happened in East Palestine. Those revenues usually you use all your money up front, and you're reimbursed either through insurance or through the feds or somebody else. So you need money to to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but so in, in roughly again, I can remind me, what's your annual budget? Um, so, on, on the paper that we gave you guys, we take out transfers, it's about $3 million. Mm -hmm. um, but with how for sale properties teetering off so fast and operation maintenance, that's a slow start. 
It'll be between two and a half and three million. Mm -hmm. um, with a three and a half, or you know, it's about one two year. Two and a half million dollar. Carry. It's about one year if you just if you just did rough numbers. It's it's mm -hmm. about a year. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I so I guess that helps me clarify a little better because if you just look at it without the context, it looks like you have a giant carryover and you're going out for a, another levy. Yeah, it's. I mean, had, had COVID not have happened, mm -hmm. yes, I think we'd probably be sitting on. I want to say when I first started with GPH, we probably had a one and a half, two million dollar carryover. Mm -hmm. We'd probably still be there if COVID hadn't have happened, like one and a half million. Okay. I'd say roughly. Yeah. Um, now a million of that would be going back to the business owners for House Bill One Ten, which would leave like five hundred thousand left, just using round numbers. Mm -hmm. um, but COVID probably added about a million dollars okay. um, to that, and that's mostly due to the efficiency of the staff, where. You know, you got the work done plus your normal job by working extra, and it just it worked out okay. towards that point. Good. Okay. That that helps me understand a little better. Appreciate that. We have a motion. I'll make a motion. Is that for five and six? Um, yeah, five and six. Second motion. Commissioner Lennon. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Thank you. Good job.